Hi guys, it's Robin and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this stunning pink and white buttercream wave cake covered in dainty little pink and gold wafer paper butterflies. So let's get into it. So in keeping with our pink theme, I decided to go with three six inch layers of pink velvet cake. And this is so delicious guys. So I will leave that recipe down in that description box below for anybody who's interested. So I've started by leveling out our three six inch cake layers and now I'm taking a little grippy sticky pad and we're putting this underneath our cake board so that way our six inch cake doesn't slide around too much while we're working on it because it is pretty light. So now we're taking our piping bag full of buttercream and we're just applying a little bit on the cake board to act as a glue for our cake to stick to. And now we're taking that same American buttercream and we're piping a nice thick border all around the edge so we can fill it in with some delicious cream cheese frosting. Now we're just gonna take our small offset spatula and give this a little quick smoothing so that way we don't end up with any air bubbles in between our layers. And then I'm gonna add that next layer of cake. And now we're gonna add another nice thick layer of that cream cheese frosting starting with our American buttercream border first. And you're gonna make it nice and thick because you don't want any of that frosting escaping from the center because cream cheese icing does tend to be quite a bit softer. Okay, now we're gonna get that last and final layer of cake into place and then we're gonna take our small offset spatula and I'm just gonna go around the outside of the cake in between each of our layers, pushing that buttercream right up and in between because I wanna make sure that none of that cream cheese icing escapes in case I accidentally cut too much cake away. So to complete the trimming, I find the best tool to use is a small bread or steak knife like I'm using. Something with a serrated edge so you're able to use a gentle sawing motion to cut little pieces of cake away without your whole cake crumbling to pieces. Now you're just going to use that technique to cut all that dark brown caramelization away, revealing nothing but beautiful pink cake underneath. Alright, now once you have all that brown stuff stripped away and your crummy mess is nice and clean, it's time to add a crumb coat. So we're just going to take our white American buttercream and a small offset spatula and I'm going to apply a very thin coat of my buttercream all over the entire cake, sealing in all these crumbs. And we're starting at the sides first, then moving to the top, then we're going to clean off that little outer lip before finally popping our cake into the fridge for about 15 or 20 minutes to firm up. And in the meantime, we're going to start working on our little butterfly decorations. So for these, you're going to need a piece of wafer paper, a soft, clean makeup sponge, a wafer paper conditioner, and this is just glycerin and alcohol, and I will leave those ratios that I used in the description box below, your gel food color of choice, and I'm using Wilton's Rose, which is a really pretty pink, and you're also going to need a little bit of cornstarch and a soft, fluffy brush to dust it with. So we're just going to start by dipping our sponge into our conditioner, which we have already colored with a little bit of pink, and we're going to carefully cover our entire piece of wafer paper in that conditioner, being very careful not to heavily saturate it because it will eat through the wafer paper. Now we're taking our cornstarch and our fluffy brush and we're dusting the entire surface of the wafer paper until it feels dry and no longer sticky to the touch. Now we're just going to flip our wafer paper over and repeat those same steps on the other side as well. So one question you might be asking is why do we need to condition our wafer paper? Well wafer paper tends to be quite rigid and when you bend it, it will break. So we need to make it pliable. So by adding a little bit of moisture and then drying that moisture, it creates a pliability to the paper that makes it very easy to work with and manipulate and create whatever your little heart desires. Then you can allow it to dry and it will firm up in the shape that you need it, which makes it so versatile and so useful for so many many applications. And it's actually been really easy to work with too. I've been able to make things like sails. There are a few different types of flowers, but these are my first butterflies. So I want to know what you guys think. So hit up that comment section down below and leave me a thumbs up too. And if you guys want to continue to learn all kinds of stuff about caking, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell too. So that way you don't miss any of my new upcoming videos that I have planned for all of you. All right, now once you've given your wafer paper about 10 minutes to dry, it should be ready to work with. So we should be able to take whatever stencil we want and cut out whatever shape we need. And as you guys already know, I'm cutting out some butterflies today. And we're gonna cut out several of each different size that I make. And we're gonna make, I think about three different sizes. 
So once I've finished cutting all these out, I want to color them a little more deeply. So using this Wilton's Pink Petal Dust, we are going to make these wings pop. So we're just going to grab a piece of paper towel so we have a surface to work on where we won't make a mess because this stuff does get pretty messy. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that powder onto the paper towel and then use a very soft paintbrush to dip it in and then gently brush it onto the tip of each wing. And you just want to be careful not to use too much because you want it to be a gradual process. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. All right, now once you finish coloring all of your butterflies, it's time to add that gold detail. Now my favorite gold powder that I've found so far is Lissell's Gold Powder because it's advertised as food safe and non-toxic, so completely safe to use. And I'm not being paid to endorse this product. I just absolutely love it and I want to pass the tip on to all of you. Okay, so now we're gonna use a little bit of lemon extract to dilute this, and you can use any extract, alcohol, or even water if you choose. And we're just gonna add a couple of drops of this to our gold powder to create a gold paint for us to work with. Now we're just gonna give that a little stir, and now it is ready to use. So using a fine tip paintbrush, we are gonna start with the body first, and then we're gonna do the outside border of the right wing. Then we're gonna fill in some of those little lines in the center before flipping it around and repeating that all on the left side. Now, once you've finished painting all the gold detail on the rest of your butterflies, you're gonna dry them on a V-shaped surface so it looks like their wings are standing up a little bit. Okay, now with all of our dainty little butterflies finished, it's time for our final coat of icing. So starting with our light pink buttercream first, I'm using my piping bag to pipe on a nice thick layer on the bottom third of my cake. Then I've switched over to my white icing and we're gonna use that to fill in the rest of the cake. Now, once your cake is completely covered, we're gonna head to the top and smooth that out first. Then we're gonna take the tip of our offset spatula and starting at the outside of our cake, we're gonna slowly spiral it towards the center to create a wave pattern on the top of our cake. Now we're gonna create the same kind of a wave pattern around the side, but we're gonna use a little different technique and we need to smooth this out first. So using our bench scraper around and around and around we go till it's completely smooth and no more air bubbles show. <laughs> All right, now we are ready for our wave pattern. So using a bench scraper with a slight amount of pressure at the bottom edge of the scraper, we're using a long continuous up and down scraping motion that gradually climbs higher and higher until we reach the top of the cake. Now I've seen this technique all over Instagram and I am a little bit late to the party, but I absolutely had to try it out because it looked so fun and so simple. But I don't think they used American buttercream because my finish isn't quite as smooth as those pictures on Instagram, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really good. So now we can start adding some finishing touches. So we're just gonna add a few golden balls and these are just sort of floating in the waves and I'm gonna use a few different sizes of them for variation. Then we're gonna add all of our beautiful dainty little pink and gold butterflies and finally finish everything off with a pink polka dot ribbon around our cake board to tie it all together. So this cake has been pretty special guys. I made it for an auction called Pinkalicious in support of breast cancer awareness. This foundation was created for those in my community who have received a cancer diagnosis and needed financial assistance. And a few years ago when my mom was fighting and winning her battle, this foundation was here for her. So I'm super grateful to them and making this cake was really the least I could do. So I really hope you guys liked the video and I hope you love the cake as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you on the next one.